In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the OSSC open source scan converter and how it's used with the Atari ST. This is just a 1040 STE running over SCART RGB cable to the OSSC here. As you can see there, it's interpreted the signal as a 313p um, picture, but in actual fact it's 240p. Uh, if we have a closer look here, um, you'll probably notice that there's some problems with um, a bit of ghosting and I've found that that's actually a result of probably the cable when um, displayed with um, one that I bought online. But otherwise, it's fairly sharp pixel wise, in, in particular in medium resolution, um, a lot of the lettering is quite sharp. One thing I often find is the um, middle part of a W is often uh, blurred and the background uh, desktop color doesn't show the checker pattern that um, that's uh, typically displayed. Now this is in uh, line double mode. Uh, what I'll do now is increase it to line triple mode. Now my VGA monitor of choice is the Dell um, 2007 FP with the uh, included sound bar. I get quite good sound and I like the picture and this particular model has uh, various additional inputs such as S video and composite video. Um, however, one thing it doesn't seem to like is the uh, video change modes with the OSSC. So as you can see here, there's um, some strange um, conversion going on with the text as well as uh, some overscan at the bottom. Um, I think it's actually the the software in the uh, software in the monitor itself. So what I actually have to do to get around it, unfortunately, I can't put into standby mode. It doesn't seem to correct the problem. What I need to do is actually unplug it and plug it back in. I reboot later and line triple mode is now being displayed correctly. Just to point out, this is version 1.6 of the open source scan converter, um, which has the built-in HDMI output. Now, given this is a, an older style monitor with only DVI input, I've just used a DVI to HDMI cable and audio is being fed through the sound bar through the 3.5 millimeter jack there. Um, as you can see now in line triple mode, um, the results are even better. Showing um, 240p with quite a sharp image. This is the ST now in line quadruple mode. I think um, not only does it fill the screen up better, the aspect ratio is better as well. So again, zooming in, you can see the checkerboard uh, display there. Um, the W, uh, again, that's sort of my uh, litmus test, um, is displayed quite clearly as well. You can see the display on the M there in games and it's quite clearly some spacing that's visible between the H, D and the D on those icons as well. This one is now line quintuple mode five times. So once again, some very clear images coming through and it does fill the screen. Now, I, as I showed before, I did find that basically switching line modes frequently will get some, will often uh, have the monitor complain and get some strange artifacts appearing, but it seems to have handled it okay this time around. Um, when we go to the display settings on the monitor.
you can see that it's receiving a signal at 1600 by 1200 so it's able to handle that quite well at five times um, line mode I thought it'd be worth showing the Atari Falcon which has built-in VGA output of course so here it is showing medium res in uh, through its VGA output you can see the output is quite sharp um, much better than the Atari TT I must admit um, and again you can see just on the desktop there the very clear check checkerboard pattern So I think the OSSC uh, does have a comparable display, even though it originated from uh, RGB SCART output. Just starting up the game now. This is uh, Black Lamp, very popular game, quite colourful as well. Um, a lot of fast-moving um, sprites as well. So just waiting for that to click over. Here's a uh, 512 color image. But the, uh, you can still see the flickering effect that you'll get from uh, like an interlaced uh, signal, but it works well. And as you can hear there, the sound is passing through as expected from the SCART cable. Have a close look at the images. So this is in uh, low resolution, 320 by 200. You can see the pixels are quite sharp. So the OSSC is renowned for its uh, minimal lag, or no lag, and I find it's quite satisfactory for the Atari. Um, on a side note, I'm using a wireless controller using the uh, Logitech uh, gamepad, I think it's the F710 model, and I'm using the TOM2 adapter uh, to control my character since uh, my STE is on the other side of the room there. Now I'll upload this video and hopefully the conversion won't uh, diminish the, the sharp image that I'm recording here. So I hope you found that interesting. I certainly recommend the uh, OSSC for the Atari ST. Uh, especially in Australia where uh, the cost of a very good RGB monitor can actually exceed the cost of one of these converters or upscalers so given there's no shortage of VGA monitors with speakers around this is a very good alternative. <laughs>